of a player that's one dimensional, John ja Morant. Oh my God. John ja <laughs> running dunk. That's Hold what the name is. I'm not going to call him a fraud. I'm not going to put him on the fraud. Not, he, I don't think he's I'm, a fraud. I'm not going to put him on a fraud watch young. list. But I'm not putting a third year player on fraud watch. He, the thing with, ah, the thing with John ja Morant, they won the game. Yeah, they won. So I got to give him credit. Because of the Desmond thing. Yeah. And um, who else? Brandon Clark? Brandon Clark, was he playing well as well? Yeah. I think it's also Ty Jones. He might have pitched in. Ty Jones run. Hit, hit, some, hit a big three. Hit yeah. big three. So they have some players. Uh, but John Morant, that was the ugliest triple-double I've ever seen him. Nasty work. That. 16 <laughs> points, 10 assists, 10. Let me tell you something. Seven turnovers. You need to develop a mid-range pull-up, a step something, because Rim running is not, this isn't 2K22. Rim right. running is not going to win a ring. Only Giannis can do the running dunk because he's like seven feet tall, massive wingspan. He can just bully anybody in the paint. John, you are 6'3". Right. You need to develop some type of pull-up or something because all you do is rim run all game. Tack the basket. Tack. Everyone knows what's coming. This is why I had Golden State beating Memphis in the second round because yeah. I just think that with John Morant, he's been sensational in the regular season, but... In terms of the playoffs, they gonna key in. They clog in the lanes, bro. They, yeah, they but he's literally living off free throws. They're watching, filming you, watching your tendencies, and when you don't, when when you don't have an, a big bag, when you don't have like a bag like a Chris Paul or even a Steph or some some of these top notch point guards that they can do more than just run and duck, then you're gonna have a problem. They're just gonna be able, the defense gonna be able to key into you, and and I, and I feel like like in, th throughout the season. Jock used to shoot more. He did. I don't. I don't know why he stopped doing. Because the defense, man, the defense is is on, him, bro. Like, I man, if you the guy, if you the guy, you say you are, you gotta. I don't care. That's true. But just look. Just if you watch the game, like I was really like watching Jock, and I was like, now I see the Russell Westbrook comparison because. Look at look at him off the ball. He doesn't. He's just yeah, off the around. ball. Is just oh goodness. Like he's he doesn't space the floor. Bro, he just literally just there. He's just he looks so bored. He look he's so nonchalant. Like he's so, bro. He just doesn't look. He's he's just standing there, bro. Like I'm just like really. This is what we doing. You're not gonna develop your off ball like. I don't know, setting the screen or trying to come off a screen and shooting the ball like it's just you standing around. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, that's a lot of these teams don't run real offense. That's it's true. literally just put the star, put the ball in the star hands and just make something happen. And that's why the Nets is not beating the Celtics. Ooh, ooh, we'll get to that later. Yeah. But besides Jaw, there's another guy. Oh man, I, I mean, you know what? This camera right here, Cat, you're a fraud. Mm. You're an absolute fraud. There's a reason why we have you on the fraud watch list. Because of what you did last game, four shots? Mm. You're the best player on the team. Are you sure about that? You know what? Yeah, man, that's, a great, a spot. that's a great question. I don't know. You're, you might make the All-NBA, and you only shot the ball four times? Patrick Beverly, I think Patrick Beverly shot the ball more than him. He did. Bro. Ant-Man had a better game. Ant-Man, Ant shot the ball more than you. Who else? D-Lo shot, shot the ball. D-Lo shot the ball. You're the best. You're arguably Beasley arguably. probably shot the ball more than yes. you. Yes. Four shots for one of the top big men in the game. And you were on the mic saying, yeah, we in Minnesota now. We in Minnesota now. Yeah, we, we were in Memphis, but now we in Minnesota. What are you doing? Like, when I first heard that, I was like, oh. You better back it up, you know. I get y'all up double digits, yeah. but the game not over. And guess what? You guys choked. You know why? Because you did nothing. You literally was standing around there looking looking just dazed. Looking, you look, bro, what are you doing? Getting cooked. And the Timberwolves coach, oh, my goodness. Bro, listen, it's bad enough you blew 120 points. But to blow two 20 points in the possible? same game. How's that possible? You literally were sitting on the sideline with your arms crossed like this, watching your teammate, your team shoot up threes when they're up 15 points. I'm like, what is really going on out here? That, that's unacceptable. Bro, didn't that's call a timeout. Didn't call a timeout when it was a 21 0 run. Like, you should have at least called a timeout when they. I think they had in. only three timeouts by the time the third quarter hit. Understandable, but still, if let's say they they come down like ten points, right? They they um strip it down to ten points. Call a timeout. Like you're up twenty one 
and you don't call time out once with a young team. You have a young team. This is not a veteran team. This is a young team. Anthony Edwards with Cat. Like, these guys don't know. These guys haven't been there. What are you doing? Then you have Patrick Beverly calling ISO in the clutch? Like, what are we doing? What are they doing? Patrick Beverly should not be doing this. He should not be calling ISO. And then Pat you see Patrick Beverly get blocked. Yeah, because he's not an offensive player. He's not a guy that puts the ball on the floor. Just a colossal collapse. Like, it's, I just can't believe what they I just saw. They out the Grizzlies coach bad. Yeah. They bailed him out bad. Because that would have been embarrassing. Bro, John Morant was looking dazed out there. He was like, you got to win those kind of games, though. Like, as a Temple, like, Ja is a... Only one dude was really performing. Dylan Brooks was off. Ja was off. Steven Adams ain't even touched the floor. Right. Uh, um, Jerry Jackson was in foul trouble. You got to capitalize off that. Yep. And you got to put the, and you got to tell your star, like, look, man, stop being soft and stop trying to wait for open looks and go get what's yours. This is ridiculous. Cat won. Cat, like, I don't understand what this dude Yeah, he, Cat, This Cat. man is just talks. He talks way too much to not do anything on the court sometimes. Right. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, he's he, he's on the fraud watch list. He act like he was waiting all this time to get back in the playoffs to do this. Shoot four times and lose and blow a 20-point lead at home. I don't understand. Okay. I don't understand how you're the star player and you shot four times. Like, that's just... That's an eat, bro. Like, oh man, that's a mentality. You're sitting there like, that, like it is a mentality. Like you're not a dog. Exactly. You're not all that rapping against that's why the and everybody else, and you letting the second year player take all the shots and be the main scorer. To, like, what kind of man is you? Like, come on now. Yeah, that's why Jimmy Butler was on you. That's why Jimmy Butler was always yelling in your face and doing all this because he saw that you don't have that dog and you don't have that mentality, and he was right. That's why he wanted to leave. He was like, man, I can't be with you. I can't win with somebody that don't want it, man. And you don't want it. You you fake. You fake. And you I had more cries and complaints than points. You're the number one overall pick, bro. And you doing this. But you know what? I ain't want to talk about that more. 